uh, Comrade Don Pash, I don't know if I sum up that uh, intro correctly, but I would like us to dive uh, right into the crux of the, today's matter. A lot of things have been going on, and I want us to start with, um, we, we, we recently just learned on social media that uh, a French uh, warship uh, arrived uh, in the docks of the Kribi, uh, 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 the Kribi seaport in La Republique du Cameroon, and has on board uh, over 200 French military personnel. At a time when uh, uh, there is a, a genocide war going on that uh, uh, Paul Bia and Cameroon are uh, executing in our land, what do you make of the French government of Emmanuel Macron uh, sending uh, this... Uh, troops, his troops, French troops into a neighboring French Cameroon. Remember that Honorable Weber had told them in their kangaroo parliament that even if they take the French, the entire French military and add to uh, what they have, they will not take the ambassador from us. Is Honorable Weber's prophecy coming to pass? Before you go on, Comrade Don Pasha, I'll back on the studio to give us a mute on the uh, master uh, uh, screen so that we don't get feedback from ourselves. Thank you, studio. Comrade Don Pasha, what do you make of that scenario? Yeah, Comrade uh, Silas, what I would try to say is, you know, we are, we are at war and uh, the Amazonians have proven to the world and to the Republic in particular that we are not just a people that can be crushed like what they used to say you crush an ant. No, we have shown our determination for the past three years and counting. We the people of Ambazonia have proven to the world that we are ready to stand up for anything no matter what they bring to us. The, the French warship is just uh, like an intimidation to intimidate the people of Ambazonia to make them have that fear. We already know that the French had been in our territory for the past three years. We all have seen the pictures, we have seen the videos of French, of white French people in our territory. So not now, not today, not tomorrow, that they will come to portray or to show to us that they have arrived the shores of Kribi that will make our great soldiers, our great warriors, our great armor boys to be afraid or to, 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 to feel intimidated not to continue the fight. The fight for the freedom of Amazonia is a genuine fight that we all, we stand for what we call justice. We don't want peace. We want what we call justice. Justice for the people of Amazonia. The people of the French-speaking zone, the people of La Republic, they know the truth. They are just trying to intimidate us with the French soldiers. Like you said, Honorable Weber had told them that even if you go and bring us, the entire French military, when the people of Southern Cameroon and Bazonia will Stand up when they will rise, no matter how many troops you bring, we are going to defeat you guys. And it is freedom or we resist forever. No matter the intimidations they bring to us, no matter how much they want to show the world that they can crush us, they know that the fighters of Ambazonia, the guerrilla fighters, whenever they come out, they come out and they do what they have to do and they go back to their hiding zones. And the military, when the military sees the great power boys, what do they do? They run into the bushes. They themselves, they run into their camps. And when the amber boys go into their own hiding places, what do they do? They come out and they kill on arms videos. We see pictures of, the, of our civilians being tied behind them, being blindfolded and killed like animals. Those are not the soldiers. We have not seen pictures of them killing the great soldiers of Ambazonia. We have not seen pictures of them killing the warriors of Ambazonia. We see pictures of them killing unarmed civilians. We have a great, great 
strong force that is fighting for the freedom of Amazonia. And they will keep on fighting. Not the military of French or France can intimidate them. They are very, very resolute. They are strong and they are determined to free Amazonia. Uh, uh, thank you, Comrade Pasho. For our viewers, on your screens there is a uh, 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 picture of the warship that has allegedly docked uh, the creepy seashores. And um, the other pictures, there's another picture with uh, the, 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 the alleged military, Fran uh, French military that, as, as you can see right there, that's another picture of uh, the militaries coming down from the, from the warship and uh, going into French Cameroon. There is no other explanation of why France will be sending a, a military uh, to Cameroon at this point, if not to fight Amazonia. So uh, we want to uh, uh, let the rest of the world understand that we are not uh, just fighting the French military, with the, the French Cameroon military. It is actually uh, France, as we have said it time and time again, that France is at the root of every uh, 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 disturbance in Africa. It is France's intention to destabilize African nations and make sure that our people die in their numbers as they want. Because the backup that they are giving to, 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 to uh, Cameroon right now is just uh, a way to continue to boost this war, to make sure that their, 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 their economic exploits from Amazonia continues which is the main reason why we are fighting. We are fighting because uh, uh, the French domination in our territory uh, 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 exploited all our resources and allowing our people in penury is what we have rejected. And the, Cam the, the, the French Cameroon government have done nothing but uh, colluded with uh, uh, France for the last uh, uh, 58 years. And today, uh, this generation of Amazonians have taken their stand and saying we will no more uh, tolerate colonialism from any uh, 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 direction, whether it's from the white uh, colonialists or co uh, colonization from uh, uh, Paul Bia and his government. So on your screens there, that is what is happening currently in Amazonia. And uh, uh, Comrade Don Pacho, you were talking earlier about the, the bravery and the bravery of our valiant soldiers. Uh, I just want us to take uh, some few seconds to salute them for the work that they have been doing just this week, uh, we, we, we got news from our valiant soldiers of the convoy, the uh, colonial governor of the northern zone that uh, was attacked. Uh, of course, uh, false reports were that he, he, he was uh, uh, injured in that, uh, in, in, in that attack, but uh, other reports prove otherwise. But there was actually an attack on his convoy just to prove. The, 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 the activities of our valiant soldiers on the ground. Comrade Don Pacho, uh, your comment on the uh, uh, bravery of our soldiers on the ground, the Amazonian uh, Restoration Forces. Yeah, uh, Comrade Silas, when uh, you look at the report that came from uh, La Republique du Cameroon uh, uh, Communication Department of their Defense Force, they said there was no attack. They said there was no attack. Uh, on the uh, governor's convoy. But we saw the report coming out from uh, uh, Equinox TV giving full details of what happened to the governor. And uh, we saw the damage that the great soldiers of Amazonia, the great, great warriors, restoration forces of Amazonia, caused on the, the La Republic military. That is to tell you look at the people, look at people who have no military training, they decided to pick up arms to defend themselves. They come out to the why did, the question should be, why did our soldiers attack the convoy of the governor of La Republic of Cameroon? They cannot come to tell us that they went for something, the so-called uh, 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 dialogue. And uh, after the dialogue, they said they gave us something special statue. And they still go to install SGOs and due their colonial elements in our territory. And then they want our valiant soldiers to sit down and watch them. They want our great warriors of Amazonia to watch them do whatever they want in our territory. No, like the president of the Federal Republic of Amazonia said, 
His Excellency Sisi said, it is either freedom or we resist them forever. Our territory is ungovernable. They will never govern our territory. We govern our territory from the diaspora. They don't govern our territory. We sit in the diaspora. We give the people on ground zero what to do. We tell them what to do. We give the orders and they follow those orders. These are the great people that they want their freedom. Do you think if those people did not want their freedom, will they be respecting ghost towns every Monday? Will they keep on fighting even without anything? They are fighting with their guns. They are fighting with their hands. They are fighting with local explosives. La Republic has everything, but those guys can resist, and they have been resisting them. That is to tell you that freedom, freedom is, is really, really in our people. Our people are hungry, they are thirsty for that freedom. They want their freedom, and they must get that freedom. Not they, all of us, we are thirsty for that freedom. We want that freedom, and we must get that freedom. I salute like you said, I salute the great soldiers of Ambazonia. I give them great courage. I look at them every day. I think about the song they always sing, that we should not worry if we happen to meet again. If we happen to meet again, if we don't see them, we shall meet again in another world. That means they have decided to lay down their lives for our freedom. They have decided to lay down their lives for the freedom of the people of Ambazonia my fellow people of Ambazonia. It is time for us all to rise up, to look at those guys, to look at what those soldiers are doing and ask ourselves, what are we in the diaspora doing to free the land? What are we in our comfort zones doing to free our land? That is the question that each and every Ambazonian in the diaspora needs to be asking him or herself. And then when you ask yourself that question, you will find the answer and you will do what you have to do to liberate your homeland. Thank you, Comrade Don Pacho. I want to highlight. Uh, studio, please, uh, can you help us mute? Comrade Don Pacho, were you muted all the time that you were speaking? No, I was not muted. Okay. Uh, okay. Us mute the main panel. Do not mute your own comrade on Python so that uh, uh, you, you can interact or interject if you if you have to. But the echo from uh, the main uh, uh, screen, I would love that to be muted. Thank you, Studio. Uh, I want to highlight the, the effectiveness of our restoration forces there. And the, 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 the convoy attack in uh, the convoy ambush in the uh, 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 of, of the governor of the northern zone was in Gorkitunja. So a special salute to uh, uh, the, the restoration forces. But that was not all, Comrade Uh Equinox TV reported that in the southern zone as well, uh, the, the convoy of the SDO was also ambushed on another uh, installation. Uh, 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 in, in, in Meme, in Meme, yes. the, 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 the restoration forces of Meme, they also attacked the convoy of uh, the SGO of uh, Meme, that is uh, the call him uh, Chamberlain, all those they are, uh, 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 colonial names, we don't know how to call them. He was mm -hmm. going to install the duo for, uh, uh, um, for Konye, and the, the restoration forces, as courageous, as brilliant, as tactical as they are, they were able, they were able to disrupt and to block the SGO, the colonial SGO of La Republic du Cameroon, going to install another colonial geo for Konya. We have said, and we keep on saying, our territory is free and will be free forever. None, none of them will move again in our territory freely. We will not allow them to do that again. Ambazonia is for Ambazonians, and Ambazonians will fight for their liberation. We salute again the great soldiers, the great restoration forces of Meme, and we say kudos to you. We feel your pains. We see what you guys are doing. And like I said before, let us in the diaspora, I insist on us, the diaspora, to look at ourselves and always ask ourselves, what are we doing?
to free homeland? That is the question. 